Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill the gaps in roofs. There's a lot of ways to actually do it. Some are easy, but more expensive. Some are more difficult, though more cost effective. I'm just going to show you all the ones I know and you decide which one works for you. I'll try them out. Really up to you. Now, the first one is one that has been around for some time. I don't know who came up with it. I've seen a video by BRT Cobra, but I've got no idea who came up with it. So what you do is you place your roof like normal. And then what you do is you get the custom roof out again and you put it in custom mode and you just aim a little bit to the side like that. And then you connect it up in the middle and then the same thing a little bit to the side. As you go up, it'll fill the gap. You see this? This is 30 logs. That's 32 logs to fill the gap. But if we go outside, it's relatively clean. That actually looks really bad. I'm going to do a starter on that line. Come to the middle there. Finish on the line again. Like that. How much is that? 30 logs. Yeah. So that's just one way you can do it. It's the most expensive way I've come across. And it can be a little bit tricky to get it in line, but just play around with it. It's pretty easy to do. Now the next one is something that I think I've done before. Quite easy to do and it's very cheap, though it does limit the wall and what you can do with it. So you place it about exactly uh, wall's height. That's what I would do. Cancel that. You need to place a single pole from a custom wall right in the middle. Like that. Build that. Place this right on the edge. And you'll come up like this. You can do it in one section, though I like to do it in two because it can be a bit fiddly. And same with this. Come up like that. Same thing again. Try and get it as even as you can. Like that. And then you can place your wall again. You can't really have much of a window here. Just be blocked off, see? You can't have doors. So this is a problem with this one. Show you what it looks like. That's it there. You can be much more cleaner. See, it wasn't very clean. And also be careful, it can come through the walls like this. Might be a save beforehand job. I'll do it again. So if we can get a little bit cleaner this time. Find roughly where the middle is. Like that. Complete that. You can try and do it from this pole here. Might work that as you see there's a gap there so if i went the other way it would remove that gap like that get it exactly in the middle can look pretty good it seems that the uh, hole's blocking it custom place that should overcome the issue and the walls are on the outside of this one i don't know what that's doing there yeah if you want you can fill that gap with an automatic placement or try and get it manually there might actually look all right with a automatic placement yeah, it kind of does. So that's one way to do it. That's probably about half the price of doing it this way. God, that end turned out really bad, eh? But yeah, you can't really have doors on this design. A lot of them you can't, except for that one. I'm going to place it until it goes like that. Now this one is using roofs in little sections. So what you do is you attach it to the bottom of the custom foundation, run it over like this, and then you can fill the gap this way. So place the wall, I'm not sure why I cleared that, and you just repeat the same process again, like that, and like that. Now you've got a gap there to get around that, let's put some windows on this one. As you do it the same, but do it from the top of the wall instead. Come across, always go too wide, you won't get it any shorter, like that. But the problem is, is that you're going to have a bit of a gap there, and also these stick in quite a bit, as you can see. Not sure if you're going to have windows. No, not really. What you could do, if you do want to use this, is cancel the walls. Start from somewhere roughly, I don't know. And try and get it as a single placement. So that's not really in the middle. As you can see what I mean. Like that. And then you fill the gap up with another wall. It starts getting expensive this way. Though the mechanics are good to know, this is probably not the most suitable one. So there you go. Looks kind of funky, that one. But yeah, as you go inside, it eats into the room you've got. But you might like this. The next one is a little bit similar, though it requires rock walls, and it actually works out to be quite cheap. So just go any height, and what you do, you place a rock wall right on the corner, come across, click, and then run it over to the other side. Connect it up, then run it back over. 
Okay, that hasn't completed on that side. It hasn't completed on that side. Reason being, because it doesn't like being placed inside walls that are already there. The blueprint will prevent it from being placed. We might have to clear it. So like that. Across. Bring it over. Try and get it to snap if you can. Connect it back up. Cancel all of that. You only need one end, so maybe go the end that's sitting closer on the wall. So this is sticking in, so we're going to get rid of that one. And build that. And then you can place your walls. Next, you get the roof out. It's very similar to the other one. Just keep going up and up and up. Like that. These work out to be about four logs each, roughly. And you just keep stacking on top of each other. So I'm going to go three with that one. And then what you do, you get the rock wall out again. Place it. It's not going to place because that's there. Cancel that. It'll work. There you go. Build that little end piece. There it is. Cancel the rest. Oh, you accidentally cancelled the wall then. I can just replace it with an automatic placement. There we go. Oh, don't complete these all until you're happy with the filament. And same thing again. Bring it up. Like that. And that's pretty much filled. Oh, there's a little gap there. You can do this as many times as you want, really. Do you want to get it all filled? Might start looking a little bit messy though. And the same thing with this. Your windows aren't really going to show. A little bit. But you could just place a wall and have a thing in the middle. But that's only if you're really interested. And there we go. If I had to build the ruse before, I could probably place a custom wall here. But it's very hard to do this. You would eventually get it, but God, it would take you a long time. That's not even the middle. Ah, oh, something like that. There you go. Looks a bit messy. Keep keep in mind where your walls are. You gotta do it before the walls. And the last way is a way I only just discovered, and it's quite tricky to do. But it works out looking like that, though you've got a lot more control over what it does. So you want to build it about whatever height you want. I usually like to go until it can't go anymore. Like that. Because what you do is you get the custom roof out, place it like that, and then connect it up, similar to what you did on that other design. Then you bring it up as well, until it starts turning into two. Like that. And what I like to do, get rid of the walls, because it makes it very difficult to see. Like that. And then here is the tricky part. Place it right on the edge. I do it this way. I go up. Until it turns into three. You gotta do it until it turns into three, otherwise it goes into that placement. Like that. There's three. And then you gotta try and place it kind of on the edge like this. Otherwise, it will appear in the middle. Feel like that? Okay, cool. Go up. Place it. Do the same thing on this side. Now this side, I've built the wall, so it's going to look uneven. But we will work with that. Set it up. Pre complete. See, I didn't check then. See, it's kind of in stuck in there. And there we go. Looks like we just need one more log. This is a lot cheaper, though it's a lot more difficult. And I only just discovered this today, so yeah, you'll probably find an easy way of doing this. Now that's done. Might be difficult to place a wall around it. Might not come through. Yeah, windows are no good. You could always do that single placement. Let's just see how this turned out. Kind of like that, and if we go outside, it should look alright. Yeah, there we go. The gap's filled. It's not coming through the roof. There's this, though. Don't know if that bothers you too much. But yeah, because I built the wall there, I can't get that there properly. So yeah, that's one of the ways to do it. I only just discovered this way, so it probably needs more improvement. I actually like that little look. If it was on the other side, it looked really cool. I'm going to quickly do that one again because that's the one I already just discovered and I want to work on it a little bit more. Get a little bit better with it. I'm going to make a house a bit bigger. But I don't have to deal with this limited wall thing. Go. That's done. Okay, so remember when placing uh, ruse, if 
when that automatically places, it's going to go the exact same way as the floorboards if it's all automatic. So the gaps are going to be there and there. So I just build one, place the roof. I'm going to estimate that one. Answer these. Okay, here we go. Now just keep in mind, see how it's not quite in the same sort of alignment as the other one? I think you'll work it out. You just kind of want it to be exact. Something like that. Because we didn't build the walls like last time, it's going to be a bit more free with how we build this. So I'm going to try and build it on this log here. And use this log as the alignment. So that's kind of inside the other one. Depends if that bothers you or not. Ah, oh, see? A little bit too much of a gap there. I'll just let you know, if you do it the other way around, if you come down instead... Ah, that worked out alright. It was floating for me last time. You yeah, make sure you don't complete these until you're all done. That way you can change things up as you see fit. Ah, a little bit of a gap there. God, I'm so pedantic. No, I'm just making it worse. I cannot do this right now. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Finally got it. You don't have to go three. You can go one, two, or three. It's up to you. And there we go. So I'm going to try and do it on the other side. I don't remember where I placed it. So this works out a lot cheaper than the roof way. But as you can see, it's a lot more tedious. That you could have windows with this way, if you're that inclined. Don't have logs connecting everything up. Now it's so hard to see when it's this bright. I can't really see the gaps. There we go. That worked out kind of exact. Then we just have to place one right in the middle there, which might be a bit hard. Eh, good enough. Complete all them. There we go. And then you'd place a wall to obviously cover it up. This is enough room. Oh, it's so close. Should be able to come through there. But yeah, it's that way. That actually looks really nice. Look at that hole there. I don't like that hole. So that works out probably about twice as cheap. It's about half the price of doing it that way with the roof. Though, obviously, it's a lot more work. Depends what you want to do. I don't know why I struggle with this one so much. Maybe place it in the middle. There we go. Yeah, it sticks out. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I can't work out this thing. How much is that? Uh, 48 logs. Yeah, it's just so expensive. So it's hard for me to justify building this kind of design. But it is easy to do. And it does fill the gap. See? Just depends what kind of look you want. I think this looks a little bit... I don't know. I'm kind of liking this one more. But maybe it's just bias. How does it look from the outside? Yeah, I don't know why it's sticking out. <laughs> yeah. I can get in and out of this one. I'm actually going to be looking into this one a little bit more. Yeah, it's sticking out. Possible solution. Place a pole that way. Eh, uh, that kind of worked. Sort of. Just placing a single pole there and running it off that instead. And again, I'm not trying to join it up. So maybe that might be my issue. And you can't join it up. Probably too sharp. Yeah, it's sticking out. Uh, it kind of looks funky. Going too much on the angle. But yeah, so there's all the ways you can do it. You just find the one that suits you best. Now it's good to know these mechanics too, because you could use them for whatever you can think of. Trying out these different ways can make the house kind of look a bit more realistic. Not so, like, professionally built, I guess. But if you're asking me what my favourite one is, it's the new one that I've discovered. And I only just discovered it today, so God knows what you could do with it. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>